this video, we're going to talk about creating layouts. And a layout is a collection of stocks or commodities. It's a group of charts that you can save together to quickly be able to access. Now, there's actually more to that in layouts, but we'll be talking about those in other videos. In this video, we're going to focus on groups of charts that we can look at. So to start, what I'm going to do is create a new layout and show you an example of this. Now, when you open up Metastock, you'll notice up here in the top right-hand corner, it says Main. So Main is where you're typically working in Metastock. We're going to create a new layout. Just close the Power Console here and come up here and click New Layout, this plus button right here. And you'll see it, it open up, opens up this window called Layout 3. Now it may say Layout 2, Layout 8, Layout 9, depending on how many layouts you've opened. So I'm going to start by say, I would like to do a list of sector stocks that I can pull up very quickly. So I'm going to just go in my here to my Power Console. I'm going to scroll down to uh, the airline, US Airlines, and I'm going to open up all of these charts. So if I click Open Chart, it will open all 13 of these charts for me. And you can see them opening up there. Now, once these are done, I can save this as a group, okay? So that I can quickly access it without having to go open that process every time. Now, what I'm going to do to save my layout is I'm going to come up here and go File, Save As, and I will call this Airlines, okay? Then if I click Save, you'll notice the name up here renames as Airlines. Now what I can do, when, since I have something open, I can select and go between Main and Airlines. So it's very easy to switch before. And then when I'm, once I'm in my layout, I can move around, do whatever I want to, look at all my different charts and switch between them. Okay, so e very easy to make those kinds of moves around. Let's create one more layout as an example. Let's say I also wanted sector ETFs or top futures, whatever you want. So we'll go over here to the plus, or I could also go file new layout as an option. So if I go File, New Layout, you'll see it says Layout 4. This time I'm going to open up, let's uncheck these stocks, we don't want those. So I'll type in the SPY, DIA, QQQ.O, and IWM. So those are my four sector uh, indices that I want. So those will open up. Now last time I left them in tabbed view in that specific view. This time, let's tile them. So I have them set up this way for a quick view of the markets and what's going on with the market. So if I file Save As this time, and we go uh, Sector here, or maybe Market ETF would maybe be a better name for it and then say save. Now it's saved as market ETF and I can switch between them in my views and be able to quickly move around. Now the last thing I'll just show you here is if there's another way besides this to switch between them, you can come down to your taskbar and hover over it and it will show all the open windows that you have for Metastock and you can do that. The other alternative is I can alt tab and it will show me all my open windows and switch between them there as well. So, hope you found this video instructional on setting up layouts and a brief introduction to how you can use them. Thanks for stopping by.